If you got any of the free at-home COVID tests from the federal government or through your insurance company, there's a good chance they have been sitting on your shelf for a while. They have, and many of those tests have expired or they will expire very soon. <laughs> Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to show you what to do with those tests and how to tell if you need to toss them out. Yeah, Kim and Devin, so pretty much everything used in medicine has an expiration date. Now, in the case of COVID tests, the problem is the shelf life was a conservative estimate because, of course, the tests hadn't been around long enough to really know how they would perform after, let's say, a year or more. The good news is they are holding up well, and that has led the FDA to revise the expiration dates. At-home COVID tests are easy to use, and they give results in minutes, but they don't last forever. When I checked my supply of tests that were sent from the government, there were a wide range of expiration dates. For example, these Abbott Binax Now tests, they won't expire until February of 2023. The expiration date is right next to this little hourglass symbol. But these eye health tests, they have a use by date of July 20th, and they are already expired. Also, these tests distributed by Roche, they just expired on August 21st. Now, that doesn't mean I have to toss them, though, but I do need to go to the FDA website to check the lot number against the official list of updated expirations. Now, you can see here the eye health test is easily found, and it says that they have been extended to 12 months. So now they expire on January 20th of next year. Now, these other tests distributed by Roche were a problem for me, though. The FDA website doesn't show any tests made by Roche. The only way I could figure out who made these tests was on the seal. It says SD Biosensor, and here on the back next to the little factory symbol, it says SD Biosensor. Now, on the FDA list, there is a test made by SD Biosensor, and in fact, the lot numbers do make sense. Unfortunately, as of now, these tests are only extended until November 21st of this year. The bottom line is, regardless of the expiration date printed on the box or label, in many cases the shelf life may have been extended by the FDA. You just need to check. Now, if you have tests with different expiration dates like I did, just be sure to use the tests with the expiration dates that's coming up sooner first. And we're posting a link to the FDA website where you can check on the expirations yourself. That'll be on ClickOnDetroit.com. Back to you. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.